On the Middle East, the Shah is committed to a secure state of Israel. But he insists the Israelis must give back the Arab lands they conquered in 1967. And he believes the Jewish lobby in the United States helps breed Israeli intransigence on that matter. In fact, he says, American presidents and presidential candidates are too quick to do the bidding of the Jewish lobby. Surely, Your Majesty, you're not telling me that the Jewish lobby in the United States pulls the strings of the presidency. Not entirely, but I think even a little too much, even for Israel interests. You think the Jewish lobby in the United States is too powerful for the interests of Israel? I think so. Sometimes they are deserving the interests of Israel Explain. because they are, they're pushing around too many people. How do you mean pushing around? Well, pressuring. They have many means at their disposal. They are putting up pressure on many, many people. And at the end, I don't think that it, it will even help Israel. Why, if this is true, why would the President of the United States pay attention to that lobby? They are strong. Strong in what sense? They are controlling many things. Controlling what? Newspapers. Medias. Your Majesty. Banks. Finances. And I'm going to stop there. Well, now wait just a second. You really do believe that the Jewish community in the United States is that powerful? They make the media reflect their view of foreign policy? Mm -hmm. Yes. They do not report, we do not report honestly? Don't uh, mix things, please. I don't say the media. I say in the media they have people. Not the entire media. Some newspapers will only reflect their, their views, yes. No. The New York Times, for instance is owned by the Salzberger family, who are Jewish. Are you suggesting that the New York Times is biased in its treatment of the question of Zionism, Israel's existence, the United States' relationship with the Arab world? I will have to put all the articles of the New York Times written on this subject and draw the conclusion. You can put this to the computer and it will answer you. What you're saying is that, yes, you do believe. Well, let's wait for the answer of the computer. Washington Post? The same. The networks? Less. I must say, you are speaking with your characteristic candor. Yes, if you like. I try to be candid. I have always been.